lots of animals can regenerate. We regenerate really well. We don't, you have to cut off an arm, it doesn't grow back. But all the bits <laughs> and pieces, you know, of the arm pretty much regenerate really well. That's what keeps us going. So um, I think the question would be more like why, since everybody else can do it, why don't we, and there must be some selection against us regenerating the way an axe model does. And how would you answer that question? Uh, well, if I knew the answer to that, um, <laughs> we'd be regenerating arms and legs right now. <laughs> but, but, um, but, but I think, you know, it goes back to the evolution question, so I really enjoyed the, the, the comments that Kim had to make, because, because I, I think it's important to realize that, you know, when we look around and see all these animals and plants and life forms on, on Earth, I mean, they have evolved for hundreds of millions and billions of years, and so these experiments have been going on. And so you look at an axolotl, and it shows you that the mechanisms are there to regenerate it, and they have discovered how to do it. So the answer is, you know, tease that apart experimentally and, uh, and, and figure out what the steps are. And then once you know the steps, then we should be able to do that in humans, walk through step by step that gives you the outcome of regeneration.